Welcome, welcome to the Newsworthy. All the day's news in less than 10 minutes. Fast, fair, fun, and on the go. Thank you so much for listening. Today, updates about the school shooting in Texas. The new threat in Hawaii called Lays. And the new type of migraine medicine. Plus the royal wedding, the Billboard Music Awards, and the winner at the box office. All that and much more in less than 10 minutes. I'm Erica Mandy. Today is Monday, May 21st. You ready? Let's do this. Classes have been canceled today and tomorrow at Santa Fe High School in Texas, where, unfortunately, there was another school shooting. Santa Fe is about 30 miles southeast of Houston. The shooting happened on Friday. The AP reports a total of 10 people were killed, eight students and two teachers. 13 more people were hurt, including one of the school resource officers that first tried to stop the gunman. CNN reports the shooter is 17 years old. He had a shotgun and a handgun. He and officers apparently exchanged gunfire for 25 minutes before it finally came to an end. Reuters does have one possible reason this may have happened, although police haven't said this is true yet. The mom of one of the victims says her daughter had rejected the teen who later became the shooter, that he had made advances for four months, and she finally stood up to him and it embarrassed him in class. Again, police haven't said that was a motive yet, but the alleged shooter, that 17-year-old, is in custody at this point and apparently did confess to what he did. And yes, there is now more talk about gun control. Although some reports say you really aren't seeing much discussion about guns at all in the community of Santa Fe itself. Instead, some Texas leaders are calling for more security in schools. And some are blaming other issues, like the lieutenant governor who says video games are a problem. It's definitely not the same response that we saw after the shooting in Parkland, Florida, back in February, when students called for gun control and organized protests and walkouts. Of course, there's also the talk of people coming together after this tragedy, like the stories of heroes from teachers helping students hide to the officers who helped stop it. The Santa Fe High School baseball team even decided to come together to play their game over the weekend. The New York Times says supporters and fans packed the stadium, including other schools who dressed in the Santa Fe colors. Many had signs that said, we are with you and Santa Fe strong. The U.S. trade war with China is, quote, on hold. That's at least what the U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin told Fox News yesterday. He says it's part of border trade negotiations that are happening right now. And keep in mind, we're talking about the world's two largest economies. For now, he says the potential deal means the U.S. will stop the threats of tariffs on Chinese imports. That's the thing that's on hold. And in exchange, China has said it will buy more U.S. goods and provide more protections around U.S. technology. Because remember... China has been accused of stealing U.S. secrets and intellectual property in the past. That said, this is all still being negotiated, and there are a lot of details we don't know at this point. President Trump has said the current trade deal with China is an unfair deal, and he's going to make it better for the U.S. But the Washington Post reports some people think Trump is giving in too easily, taking tariffs off the table before the deal is done. Today, President Trump says he'll officially demand the Justice Department investigate the FBI and figure out whether or not someone with the FBI pretended to be part of the Trump campaign or if the campaign was put under surveillance. But the FBI is part of the Justice Department. So Fox News reports they will be involving the internal watchdog to take the lead on that one. Also, Trump's newest attorney, Rudy Giuliani, says he knows when the Russia investigation will come to an end. Giuliani says special counsel Robert Mueller told him it'll end by this September. It's been one year since this investigation first started, but Mueller himself is not saying anything about a timeline. Remember, Mueller and his team are looking into whether anyone colluded with Russia to impact the presidential election in 2016. It's the same volcano erupting that we've been hearing for the last few weeks, but now there's a new danger on the big island of Hawaii. And it's called Lays, as in lava and haze. USA Today explains that now the lava coming from the Kilauea volcano has reached the ocean. And when the super hot lava hits the cold water, it produces hydrochloric acid steam and fine particles of glass. Yeah, not good. Officials are warning people to stay away from any lava hitting the ocean, and they're keeping an eye out for any lays that could be picked up by the wind. It can cause lung problems and eye irritation and all that stuff. 
It's the first drug approved by the FDA to treat chronic migraines, or in other words, prevent migraines before you get them if you're someone who gets them a lot. It's a monthly shot called Amovig. Time Health reports three other shots are also expected to get approval by next year, and several pills that are meant to do the same thing are now in the testing stage. A neurology professor told the Wall Street Journal that these drugs are a complete change in the way migraines are treated. Before, patients had to use drugs really meant for other issues like epilepsy. But the first drug approved, that monthly shot, is not exactly cheap. It's nearly $7,000 a year without insurance. And at this point, it's not exactly clear how insurance companies will be handling it. All right, some other things people may be talking about today. The royal wedding, of course. They're officially the Duke and Duchess of Sussex now. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry got married on Saturday. Markle's new father-in-law, Prince Charles, was the one to walk her down the aisle because, remember, her dad ended up not coming. Although she did start walking down the aisle by herself. It's the first time a royal bride has done that. Her bouquet had forget-me-nots, which are the favorite flower of Princess Diana. Of course, that's Harry's mom, who died in 1997. And other flowers from the wedding were later sent to charities. Many showed their appreciation for the diversity of those involved at the royal wedding and the impact that can have on the world watching. Plenty of celebrities were also there as guests, including Oprah Winfrey, tennis champ Serena Williams, George and Amal Clooney, and more. The Telegraph says back in the U.S., more than 29 million Americans woke up early to watch the wedding on TV live. Now the couple is back home. They're putting off their honeymoon until later. The Billboard Music Awards were on last night. Kelly Clarkson was the host. The ceremony took place at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. At the start of the night, Kendrick Lamar, Ed Sheeran, and Bruno Mars were tied for the most nominations with 15 nods each. Sheeran ended up going home with the Top Artist Award. There were a bunch of performances, including Janet Jackson. She performed on TV for the first time in nine years. And she was honored with the Icon Award. There's a new leader at the box office, and yes, it's another superhero movie. Deadpool 2 was number one. At last check, it has 83% on Rotten Tomatoes. The movie brought in $125 million in North America over the weekend. Variety reports it wasn't quite as much as the first Deadpool movie on its first weekend, but that one had the biggest opening weekend ever for an R-rated movie. Deadpool 2 came in second for that category, so not bad. Also, Deadpool 2 grabbed third place for the biggest debut of the year. Only Avengers Infinity War and Black Panther beat it. And yes, these are all superhero movies. And that's it for today. Thanks again for listening. And a big thanks to Mary, who left this review on Apple Podcasts. It says, I'm so happy I found this podcast. It has become my favorite part of my weekday morning routine, along with coffee, of course. I find myself introducing it out loud while I get ready for work. Ready? Let's do this. I love that you say that with me, Mary. Thank you again. And if more of you want to help more people discover the newsworthy, please be sure to leave a review or just share it with your friends. As always, if you want to read more about any of the news stories we talked about today, go to the homepage of thenewsworthy.com. From there, click Episodes and find today's date. The Newsworthy is ready for you to listen every weekday by 4 in the morning Eastern time, so I will be back with more news tomorrow. Have a great day.